welcome back to channel episode of the hybrid days you're probably getting sick of all these coffee intros but i just like making a little montage i feel videos should have a little montage or clips at the start when they probably don't need to i can just get straight into filming but i like making them i'm going to try and do a mix of intros and no intros going forwards let me know what you think do you like them do you not I'm just want to get straight into the talking let me know Anyways, I am back to full health after that little 24 hour stomach issue. Thankfully it didn't turn into anything worse. I thought it would turn into food poisoning, but it didn't. Because I realized what it was, it was some chicken that was in the fridge for a day or two longer than it should have been. I know it was that because I gave some to the dog as well. Gave some to Odin and he had a bad tummy yesterday when we were both lying on the couch. He was making all sorts of gurgling, rumbling noises and he was looking a bit sorry for himself. But thankfully it was made, we both made a full recovery. He was fine last night running around the field and I took him for another run, so that was great. Also on the topic of not feeling great, I think my body is crying out for a deload after yesterday's session, which I probably shouldn't have done thinking back. And Monday is just abysmal failure of a session. That my body needs needs some rest, so I'm thinking I may start the deload this week. Or just push off one more session and then deload from Friday when I go away. However, however, there was an interesting study that was published recently, or a month or so ago. It was also posted on, posted by Menno Helsman. Helsman. I'm probably butchering that. I apologise. I'll put a post on here and I'll link it below. How full body deloads could be taking away your gains. In that, what's the point in deloading the full body? Where it's just your legs are fatigued, but the upper body is still fairly fresh, you're sort of slowing down the progress you've been making there. So that's how I'm gonna start structuring my deloads going forwards. Up the going next week will be almost a full body deload, all the legs will still be getting hit pretty hard with the runs I've got planned. I'll probably run three or four times with a few hill spins and there's a very nice incline in the little town I'm going to. So that's gonna be fun there, get some drone footage on that. I haven't taken out yet but I will be trying out later. Might be a few clips of it in here from the drone, just testing out, getting used to flying it. Just remind me to get my drone license and register it. So I'll do that now. And then I'm also going to be training a little bit earlier today. So obviously, I'm, as you can see, I'm in work. I did the early morning coaching sessions. So I'm going to get that drone license done. Got my coffee and breakfast here. So training a bit earlier. And that gives me the rest of the day to free up and have some vlogs ready to post for next week. As I've decided not to get the MacBook just yet because I always feel like I'm rushed in, in buying it. But I need to just do some research on editing on PC and laptop. And do I actually need that laptop? We shall see. About to get the drone. So there's that. We shall see. About to get the drone. So there's that. Just need to make another decision on getting the laptop. So despite my body feeling very beaten up and my legs feeling rather tired, I did push the yellow back another session as this was my final time on box squats. So I decided to push it over, I think, by 10 kilos, not really sure, and did the usual eight sets of three reps going every 90 seconds. Before moving on to the usual superset of incline dumbbell bench and incline dumbbell rows, going for four sets of eight on the incline bench and four sets of 15 on the rows. Now this is something I picked up from a guy called Alex Sterner over on Instagram and that is placing a small box in front of the bench for you to put your dumbbells on. So then all you'll need to do is slide the dumbbells off once you're in position on the bench instead of trying to straddle the bench while you're holding the dumbbells because this bench is rather wobbly as well. And I don't know if you've seen a video of that guy who almost impairs myself doing that thing so that's also a worry but I imagine it'll never happen on this kind of bench. And also my T-Rex arms can't reach the dumbbells when they're on the floor. So it gives a go, it's a, a very nice change once you're in position to slide them off. Makes rowing just that much easier and that much nicer. And at this point in session, my legs were feeling rather tired. So quite fatigued, so I didn't fancy doing any heavy hip thrusts. So I opted for this superset of some banded dumbbell RDLs. Again, that band's there just to get a bit more glute, glute activation. Glute activation, as you know, I like training my glutes. and I'm all about those booty gains. And I also supersetted these with some front rack elevated reverse lunges. Again, just to get a bit more upper back work 
extra core work and just that deficit for, you guessed it, that extra glute work. This was the final part of the session, which I just made up on the spot, and that was five rounds of four lengths of the sled pull and four lengths of some burpee broad jumps. So this track is about six meters. So yeah, not very far, but those rounds and volume was enough to really get me gassed. But there are a few tips I like to share for the sled push, especially if you are planning on competing in high rocks. Is the one is to use leg drive. Obviously you can't see it right now, but as I pull the rope, I'm almost squatting down. And as I pull, I am standing up, which is utilizing my hip extension. I'm not just relying on my arms to pull it in. And also with high rocks, you'll have a, a box to allow to take a few steps back, which is what I'm doing here. I'm getting low, pulling in, using my hips, and then taking a few short steps back. And also you get a clearer picture now that I am focusing on letting the rope fall to one side so it doesn't all pile up or get in my way as I want to move and it'll just, as I pull it from the other side, it should straighten out nicely for me to return and do that return pull. While the sled was surprisingly easy, it was the burpee broad jumps that really got my heart rate up and really got me breathing heavy. So for these, I made sure I, I was staying nice and low and not jumping too far forwards because that just wipes out your leg energy. But I was averaging sort of three or four burpees per length, trying to keep nice and low. As you can see, my hat kept coming off. But I was trying to just maintain that dilation to the floor, making sure I was getting that full chest contact and then just a little hop forward, a little bunny hop, just to keep the momentum each time I stood up from a burpee. And overall, I think it took me around 14 minutes, 54. Again, I forgot to write it down, which I, I should have done. I will retest that at some point. But if you want to give it a go and do give it a go, make sure you tag me in your efforts and see if you can beat my time. Again, there'll be no prize, but just a thumbs up and a pat on your back because you are fitter than me, which I'm sure most of you are anyway. But this session went off quite a while and left me starving, so it was home for some lunch. Very nice lunch. It's that time, time to finally try out the drone. Now I've never flown one of these, so hopefully it's very straightforward. Hopefully I'm gonna set it up inside, see what it's like, maybe fly in here. Is it good to fly inside? I don't know, we'll soon find out. I'm just a bit cautious of, of it crashing into the lights, but it should be fine. Right, get it open. Yeah, I wanted to fly yesterday, but there's just not enough time leaving. And since I was in work early this morning, I thought best to get some sleep and then fly it today. Maybe take with me on Odin's walk. Ooh. Hopefully it's got battery and I've never... That is smaller than I thought. That's what she said. Here we have the drone, again, probably the same size as my phone. But one of the instructions. So I went for the DJI Mini 3 Pro with the screen on the control. Just for less faff with having to set up my phone to use as a screen. And I've heard that sort of drains back quick on the phone. If you get phone calls, it can be quite stressful. I just thought better off getting them on with the screen so I can just fly it straight away. Again, there is the control and the screen. All looking very nice. 
is this. Just the cables and the spare propeller. Quick start guide. Oh, I've got to charge it first. Great, how long did charge for? So we'll pop on charge and then we'll get flying. And that'll also give me time to scan the app and read up on some tutorials or watch some tutorials at least. Got yeah, finally ready to fly the drone after almost two hours of waiting for charge and take it over for a walk. Hopefully it flies and stays stays close by. Odin's Odin's a bit confused. Oh, let's bring that up. What do you think, Odin? Eh? What's that, Odin? You're a fan of the drone? He's not too scared of it, he's a bit... Oh, so I think I'll be There's that airplane, that looks like a wire. She looks like a to see that. That's pretty. <laughs> Might just fly very, next to Very, very slightly out of range. That was very exciting, also very scary. I was scared, I was just like, <laughs> going to the trees, there's a big jump. Wires are all trapped. So that was fun, hopefully you saw some of that footage there. 
I was actually terrified because the altitude was 120 meters and I thought I was going to fly into that that tree there, but lucky it didn't. Panic over. Dust off this screen. But I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to hope you're going to play around with the drone later on or tomorrow so I can get some cool footage on holiday. As you saw, Kelly is here for the evening, so we're going to go spend some time with her. She had a busy day helping a friend move house, so I'm going to go spend some time with her. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you're new, smash subscribe, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>